Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is we're going to be working with some summer flowers. I mean, we're going to work with some anemones, some peonies, some sweet peas, just a variety of things, even some raspberries. I forgot so, to put, we were playing with peonies, I forgot. Oh. <laughs> I put sweet peas and anemones. But we're going to do with three different designs, two kind of similar. We're going to make a small clutch one because they'll always say, well, I like the big ones, but I, you know, so I want to show you that we can actually can do some smaller stuff, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually have this really cute little clay pot that's been glazed on the inside. It has just a hint of moss on the out, moss color to the outside. It's actually been airbrushed on there. And so what we want to do is we want to take our eucalyptus, our seed eucalyptus, and we're going to make a really simple collar really quick, just like that. Just here we go. I'm going to cut the edges off of the foam so we don't have any hard edges. There we go. So here's the pennies and the sweet peas we're going to use on this one. Oh, yeah. look at those anemones and too. Yeah, the anemones too. So there's our pennies. Are those, those coral charm? Those are coral charm. And look at these really pretty, almost strawberry colored anemones. So pretty. There are those. Mm. And then we're going to, last but not least, we've got sweet peas coming back in. So there's that. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and put our anemones in first. Well, those are peonies. Well, peonies, yeah. I'm thinking about, what if I should put the anemones in first? Let's put the, let's put the peonies in first. Just like that. We're going to make a collar around the edge with four of those. So where could you use an arrangement like this? Up, oh, you can make a beautiful little small table centerpiece for, you know, like a card table. Or a little luncheon would be, a you know, like luncheon a luncheon outside sweet. and a little pot would be sweet. Absolutely. So there's that. So now let's go back and add just a few of our anemones in here. We want these to kind of like what I call dance above the flowers, above the peonies. Are anemones good in foam? Do they hold up as well? They do fairly well. They don't do it as well as they would be if they were in clear water. But sometimes for this container, I thought I'm going to make my life easier today and not worry so much about making the grid and show you how to do this way. Just like that. So the next one I'm actually going to put just in the, the anemones in water. So last but not least, let's go back and add our sweet peas. Love sweet peas. Everyone's saying they're glad that we're back from market. They enjoy, enjoyed the tour of market. Oh good. Well, we had a Little technical difficulty, couldn't hear what half of we're saying. It was really loud, but we tried to do the best we could with it, right? We did. We did. Enjoyed being an accent in the course showroom. Looking at all their pretties. They have a lot of them. And yeah, they do. We're thankful that we get to have lots of them as well. Yep. So we have lots of people on from all over the place today. Oh, cool. Even two people, I'll, I can't find it now, but two people from the same place in Texas. Oh, wow. Like Pfeifferville or... <laughs> My daughter did a telecon... Flungerville. Excuse me. My daughter did a teleconference with her, our, her doctor's the one we've had forever. And so he did a teleconference with her because, you know, she's not in Little Rock. And uh, he said, oh, by the way, tell your dad my wife's obsessed with the happies. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had lots of people come at market and say, yeah, you know, they we watched did. I was what, it was like 12 people that yeah, came up? Yeah. If it was more than that, I lost yeah. count for sure. Yeah. Are you making these arrangements for something particular? Or are no, they we're going to make the them for the cooler because we're kind of, we've been so busy with Miss America High School America that the staff hasn't had time to catch up, so I thought I would help out a little bit by doing this today. 
There's the first one. That Just is something beautiful. Something simple and airy. Miss Marianne said it would be great at her house. Well, good. We can make that happen. So the next one, let's go ahead and use some of our... Now, this looks like lavender, but it's not. I think it's in the Veronica, variety Veronica. And then we have our... Is that Frida Ross? Henry Sass. Henry Sass. Frida Ross. You start off Frida Ross, come here. Yes. Come here. Come here, Frida Ross. Frida Ross. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come on. She's not a happy camper, but that's too bad. Come here, Frida Ross. So what I wanted to show y'all today is I'm going to have her help me tell you about the... What, you made me a cue card? Yes, I <laughs> she did. <laughs> so you would know. Well, just like you, you'd give it to me upside down so I couldn't read it. Anyway, so Miss Frida... We're gonna look at these. Just we got these one. I was gonna show you in between all this these wonderful pennies that we, we got. We can't in. see Miss Frida very well. Come on over here. Come on. So okay, let's I'm talk gonna... about the names of these pennies. So this is the one we've had for quite a while. This is yes. Bert Zillia. Bert Zillia. Yeah. That's kind of wimpy guess, there. Yeah. We just processed that yeah, today. The, there's the ones and, they're and gorgeous. they are gorgeous. Then the next one is called Dresden Pink. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's it. And they get huge. I want to use them in this next arrangement. So there's that one. So this one is called Red Charm. Red Charm. We use this one a lot in weddings mm -hmm. when people want burgundy, right? Yeah, and we burgundy. can't get that dahlia that everybody wants. Mm -hmm. This is a great go-to if it's available. Right. Now this <gasps> one's the one I've I'm never the seen craziest that one. about. Yeah. I this is that. called Command Performance. It took us a while to get it. Yeah, I went in there. It came in this one. I go, okay, what's the name? And she goes. Mm, I don't know. So that was her job today was to find the name of this. It's called Command Performance. It is fabulous. That is fabulous. That looks like a pom pom. That is not even that a real. That looks like almost like those papery tissue flowers. Exactly. So this one's our always go to. This is Sarah Bernhardt. Softer pink. We've already showed the coral charm. Well, this is coral charm. We've already worked with that one. See, you missed the boat. I missed, already made it up. So there's that one. And then last but not least, and we're going to go to arm wrestling on this one. Because she tells me that this is exactly the same as this. And this is yes. called Henry Sass. Oh, really? Let me see that tag because I went and research. <laughs> yes, I knew what I was talking about when I got it for your wedding. <laughs> it was pink and red. I mean, white Look how blushy red. that is, though. And she swears to me that when it opens tomorrow, it's going to look white. White. I promise you. I could not believe it, but Okay, yes. Sonic Drinks on the line here. <laughs> Sonic Drinks on the line, yes. <laughs> so if it's not, I have to buy double. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, so nice that's some of the pennies right. that Miss Frida has gotten in for us. They are <laughs> wonderful. So anyway, thank you, Miss Frida. Thank you, Miss Frida. Everyone says they're so glad they got to see you today. Yeah. yeah. So Miss Deborah asked... Miss Frida said hello to everyone. Miss Deborah asked, what is the word that you use when you are suggesting an arrangement that's not formal looking? Um, more like a um, garden, garden free form, a little bit form. It's less compact. Everyone is loving that command performance. Uh, uh, what's there not to love about it, right? So we're going to use three of these. And this one, again, was called Dresden Pink. It looks like just look at that one. And oh that's a beautiful. It's amazing. And then we're going to use some of those dahlias that we talked about that sometimes we don't can't always get these. They're a lot more plentiful than they used to be. But when we don't have those, then we sometimes we'll go ahead and substitute this one. And my friend Jody Duncan told me I can always put a little paint on that, a little purple, and make that go to this. According to Jody Duncan, you can change anything. So and then there's anemones. So it's kind of a, I don't know, not fuchsia, not, y'all let us know what you think that color is. Then this is called, a, starts with an A, I get it wrong every time, I don't even want to try to butcher it, almost looks like Antarctica, but it's not. Okay, what, you started to tell us about that, Miss This look, doesn't this look like. For, I would have put like that, Sonic um, drinks on the line that that was lavender. It's not. What's the name? Uh, don't know, Frida told me, but she told me it's not lavender because we had a customer in the cooler a minute ago and she wanted to know how much the lavender was. And I'm like, okay, I'll go check. It, it almost looks like it's in the Veronica family. Okay, I could see that. Yeah. So and it doesn't gonna, smell like lavender. Has no cell smell at all. Huh. But that lavender last week was amazing. 
So then we're going to do blackberries. Or blue, well, raspberries, blackberries. Berries. They're berries. They're blackberries. So I, how do we I get the panties to open so fast? Um, the, you know, different varieties open. This one has taken two weeks to open. That, that is stunning. Ago. Some of these, like the Coral Charm and, the, and this one. What was this one Starts with again? B. Oh, Brazilia. Bridezilia. Bridezilia. Anyway, it opens like that. I mean, like we'll put it in water and it'll automatically pop open normally. So what we want to do, so I bet you've never been blackberry picking, have you? I know. I have not. <laughs> I tried a blackberry the other day. Can you believe it? Oh, that was a push. It was. So anyway, you know, in Arkansas, they grow all along the railroad People tracks. are asking if it's salvia, blue salvia. It looks like salvia. Let's say it is salvia. But that's not the name she had on it. It's her today. But it looks like a salvia. Gardenesque. That's the word that she wanted. Gardenesque. I think that's a, a, a word we made up ourselves. Uh, duh. That's duh. why it's on your technical terms by Chris. <laughs> They're going to take my pen away. Anyway, so let's go back. And now we're going to go add a little bit of our eucalyptus. Someone asked about maybe purple sage. Not sage. No. Does a sage leaf look like that? Well, lots it of pops. people think salvia. So. Salvia. Okay. But I thought it straight up looked like. A variety of lavender. You know, we Me get about, too. That looks like lavender. Well, you know, we get lavender. about four or five different varieties of lavender. Mm -hmm. That does look like lavender yeah, to me. Yeah. So the cool. color of the anemones is raspberry. Raspberry. Okay. Perfect. Well, we're going to go with that for sure. We are. So what was the leaf that you put in the base of the container? That's an espadistria leaf. People are saying you look pretty sharp in your suit. Well, Colonel thank Sanders. you. After I spilt coffee, what y'all don't realize oh I actually gosh, had spilt coffee all down the front of me like an hour and a half before that. Like completely, all the way down him on the ground in the showroom. <laughs> it was like taking a toddler <laughs> to dinner. Well, I wouldn't go that far about it, but whatever. So anyway. Just kidding. <laughs> but you could not tell that you had. Mm -mm. Y'all got it cleaned up pretty well. We did. We got that water out and zip that right on out of there. Except my name badge looked like it was a vintage old book, <laughs> but I'll get the, water, the coffee dried on it. Yeah, that's right. So that's one way you can always sell something to be learned. If you ever want to take new paper and make it look like antique paper, just spill coffee on it. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Always learn something new. Right? That's right. These dahlias are pretty amazing. They are. Of course, depending on where you're coming from, we call them, I call them dahlias, or a lot of people call them dahlias. That's what my mama always calls them, so that's what I'm going with. There you go, that's perfect. That's right. Then let's add a little bit of this filler. And that's not the... In the oh, that's what this was. This was with the A. I'm sorry, it wasn't it's salvia, the other. Do what, Christina? I just was wondering what these were. I couldn't remember. Yeah. It's not in the scaviosa stuff. It's in that, seems like it, it looks like it's in that it family, looks but it like does it start is. with an A for sure. Like Antarctica or Antarctica or something. Why can't we just have simple names? So when we do wedding work, do we order the panties in two weeks early so that they can open? Depends on the variety. You know, if we get them in, if it's the one that opens really fast, we try to cut it as close as we can for the freshest product. And then if not, if it's something that's going to take a long time to open, then we'll get them in earlier so we can start to stage them out. Is that penny for the what, one of the weddings tomorrow? For the Hawaiian pink? Mm -mm. I okay. did that. Um, I did the hot pinker one. Oh, okay, okay. Um, someone said Astronita. That's it. Astronita. A few people have said Astronita. Yeah. Winner. So let's do this. Did you get the floral knife in? The floral knives. 
We've had those in. Is someone missing on Maybe it? the um, stem cutters is what no, they're No, we for? checked. Oh, tell them about the Happy Runners. The Happy Runners did make it in today, didn't they? Or yesterday or sometime. They're being shipped now. They came in this morning, and Haley is working on them today. So what did we learn from all that? We're not putting anything else on comments thought if it's not in our hot little hand, right? That's right. <laughs> we tried to we tried to make it for ever, since everybody liked it we thought we when we called they said oh yeah we can ship that tomorrow not so do you ever get complaints when you send out arrangements that have buds in them and they're not open yet um not too much i mean a lot of times people go the opposite direction we get complaints when we send out beautiful open flowers just because you know the nature of it we actually posted on our social media today um, about fun facts, and um, I think the fun fact that was chosen today is how peonies, you know, open, take a while to open, and then they last so long, so they're pretty. So if you get a tight one in your arrangement, it's so that you can watch it open. Right. So there's that one. So it's open, it's airy, you get to see all the different flowers and all the different textures with the, with the blackberries and then the dahlias. Miss Jennifer said it has been so great to watch today, but she has to run. She said her driver is making them take a pit stop. Jennifer okay. Selick, meaning Jennifer Day, had oh, to take a pit okay. stop. They're driving back from market right now. But we're glad y'all could tune on. Is yeah, that exactly. eucalyptus not in the water? It's hanging. No, it is. It's oh. just droopy. Droopy. Well, loose and airy. Movement. 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 That's the word. Movement. So, the next one we're going to do, which I love this color palette. So, let me switch this out because I love green and white right now. Miss Mary Ann said that she would rather have buds so that she can watch them open later and exactly. they'll last longer. That's right. So, on our last arrangement today, we're going to use the Brazilia. Brazilia. We're going to use these yellow anemones. Look how long they are. Ranunculus. Okay. Beautiful. You got it. See, I'm testing you. My favorite flower. I got that okay. one. Okay. Ranuncula. Then, we're, oh, we got Monk Orange that actually has buds <gasps> oh, this Oh, that looks so pretty. And then we're going to use some almost miniature green hydrangeas. We're going to use a little bit of privet. That's green. And we're going to use some... Hellebalores. Hellebalores. So that monk orange, it comes in branches and it comes like that? Well, Isn't that what we use for some weddings when they want branchy? But it has a really short time period. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. We actually used it on my daughter's wedding because there was no blooming branches when she got married uh, in the end of, it would be in this month, this weekend. She got married at the end of June. And so this is all I could find because I wanted big branches, you know, like at the church and stuff of all white. So these are the shorter version. Miss Linda, oh no, not Miss Linda. Who said? Miss Wendy said she loves the smell of monk orange. It, it does have a really frank, faint fragrance to it. This, this does at least. So we're going to add our privet. Miss Marianne loves the yellow that's next to the pink in the bucket. That's the one we're going to use right now. Yep. So let's go back and take, of course, take our leaves off our hydrangeas. It's like that. We always will take the leaves off. For those that are brand new to watching, we take those off because it helps the, the flower itself hydrate and not have the water go to the leaves. Everyone's really loving this yellow and green arrangement. Oh, I do too. So long cuts. That knife won't probably cut butter. So we're going to go back to the little short red one. So the longer the cut on the hydrangea, the more it's going to be able to take up more water for you. So you always want to cut at least like that, not a straight cut. I mean, not, not with the shears, but more like this. How much is stock a bunch? Well, it varies everywhere. Um, it typically is going to be around the same price as a um, carnation sometimes for us. Um, it's a great filler flower. I don't know what the price is. I can't not yeah. remember. I think in hours right now, it, it did go up a little bit because freight's going up so much with stuff. But I think for us, it's, it's probably 
probably around, I think, two forty nine a stem or dollar ninety nine a stem, something like that. So now let's go back and add our. Let's go and put our monk orange in there next. So I really want this one to be a lot more airy and tall. So I'm gonna use this. I love this stuff. Miss Andrew said, the knife won't cut butter. Should be on the happy shirt. <laughs> well, definitely doesn't need to be that knife for cutting anything right now. So We can sharpen it. I'll take it back upstairs with me. Yeah. Well, that's one of my good knives. It's one of your good ones? Well, apparently not, but I mean, it's I was going to say, we foldy. can't cut butter. But I, I love the folding knife because you know how I'll just yes, I know. get lost and forget what I'm doing and walk off. And if I can fold it up in my hand and put it in my pocket, I don't lose it. It's, these I can't put in my pocket, so you'll find them all over the store. In your car. Yeah. And lots of venues, probably. No, yep. we try to get them. We try to get them out. that. I'm going to add one more of those to there. Then I'm going to kind of block these anemones, these ranunculus. I don't know why I keep calling them anemones today. Man, those, those anemones those are open. Anemones beautiful are right beautiful. now. Y'all, I'm going to give you a close-up. They're opening as we speak. Everyone really loves these arrangements. Oh, good. Do y'all have a favorite of which one you like most? So that's the first one. It's a little small in a clay pot. And then the one back there, dark colors. And then yellow and green. Yellow and green and white. So I always tend to put these smaller pieces in last. A, I want them to kind of have a little bit of depth, meaning I want them to kind of like, when I put them out there, I'm gonna layer them on top of the other large flowers. Miss Arlene says, wow, so luxurious. Oh, good. That's what we're going for, so we're, we're like glad. A, we like a luxurious. Miss Rhonda said she likes all of them. Miss Linda said these are stunning. Oh, good. Miss Frida likes this last one. Miss Wendy Miss says Frida? the second one. No, not our Miss Frida. Miss Frida Blackwell. Okay. Miss Carol says yellow. Miss Kay says they're all spectacular. Oh, well, good. Or the little bit more airy than usual, but that's okay. I mean, they're less bloom, so. But that's what we like, that we like it to be like it coming out of the garden and not quite so fixed sometimes. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Miss Karen likes the first and second. Miss Becky likes the yellow. Miss Mary likes all of them. Miss Lisa says you make it look so effortless. Well, it is. It's, it's, it's fun. You know, you're very blessed when you have a, something you do that you love to do, so it's never really work, right? That's right. Unless you've got a lot of work to do and you can't get it all done. <laughs> so, I think we're good for today. There's that one. We'll spin that around for you real quick. That really is pretty. What do you think? I really love that. Do you? I do. Okay. And we have this other one. Totally different tones. More of a round shape, or not a round shape, more of a clutched look with a little bit of airiness to it. And then we have these just really whimsical sweet peas and anemones and peonies. So. We won't be here Monday, right? We won't be here Monday unless you want to take the ball and run with it. I do not think that will work out. But you never know. Somebody might pop on here and do it for me. I'm actually going to go uh, take care of my grandchildren, but I will be back Wednesday. So hopefully maybe you may see somebody yeah, Monday. Yeah, somebody may... else might come on Monday. Yeah. Maybe Howard and them can do yeah. Monday. And we'll then, talk to them. Yeah, we'll see if we can figure out something. Okay, if not, we will see you on Wednesday. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Thank you so much for being here. And, and we're going to do the bunny soon. Yeah, I just can't do it in 110 degree heat. So, no, so we'll probably do it one morning. One, yeah, sometime. Surprise, happy in the morning. We gotta get it done though, like next week sometime. So maybe you could do it and hold an umbrella over me, and I'll get to it. I think that's great. Okay, all perfect. Right. <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all soon. Y'all have a blessed one. Bye.